So the next page is page 60. And all you're doing here is you're going to find the correct shape that matches the missing shape here. So Noah did this one and for this circle there is a small piece missing and he matched the correct piece to the correct spot that's missing in this circle. Can you find the rest that match correctly? The same thing for joining two parts that form a square. So which shape makes up a square? And here we can see that what's missing is the triangle. Looks like a perfect a triangle that has the same sides, the same length on each side. So that one matches there. Can you find the rest? Here, you will cut up one, two, three, four shapes that look like this shape. When you cut out, so what you'll do is you'll take a piece of paper and you are going to look very carefully and trace till you get that piece. So we're going to do that now. And then once you have cut out this, once you have traced this shape, you're going to cut it out and you're going to cut it out four times. And when you have the shape, the same shape, four times, you're going to flip it and move it and twist it around until you fit this puzzle. All right? And then you're going to use the same shapes to fit in this square like a puzzle. So you will fit it Flip it around, twist it around, until you find the correct position to make this shape. So it's a puzzle. Okay, so we're taking our four shapes that look just like this, and we're going to take them and we're going to use them for this shape. And then flip them, turn them around, twist them, until you're able to complete the puzzle using this shape four times. Now you may not use it four times for one of these shapes, but you'll have to find a way to position it, <coughs> position the shape to fit and make this shape. <coughs> Once you do that, you need to trace to see how you how you positioned it to make it. Okay. Now, on this page, all you will be doing is taking the half circle, which is the hemisphere, and taking the triangle, quarter circle, square, and rectangle. Each of the following figures is made up of two of the above pieces. So draw a dotted line on each figure to show how it is formed. Name the two pieces. So for instance here, we know that the half circle and the triangle made this shape. So here they wrote half circle because that's the half circle. And then what other shape? formed this shape, a triangle. So you use this word, triangle, and write it there. So here on B, what two shapes formed this shape? Well, it looks like there's the three sides could make up a triangle here. So let's go ahead and write the word triangle. And if we added our dotted line, we would see that the second shape is a what? 
a square. So then you would write square on the second line. So the two shapes that made this shape is the triangle and the square. The others get a little bit more difficult, so go ahead and try and see if you can figure them out. Make your little dotted line and mark it to see what shapes, what two shapes they have made. Okay. Now, the same thing for the next page. There are here, I'm just going to page uh, 147, one rectangle and two squares. So you would have to, you would have to mark this and make it one rectangle and two squares, okay? Just very simple there. Just follow along until you get the right answer. Now, I'm sorry, our, our paper got um, torn here, but if you notice, it's a s circles and a square. So it's telling you maybe half, uh, either it's a quarter circle and a square, so you could try that. Okay. See if you can do the rest on your own. And then number 63 is very simple. All, you're, all they're asking or telling you here is this is a figure that has two straight lines and it has two curved lines. Now can you make a, a, a shape using two straight lines and two curved lines? So that's all it's asking you to do there. Okay. All right. Good luck.